Hello, beloved. I am back. So let's continue on with this. So we were talking about trusting the armor, his angels to minister, and his word to do what the, his word is going to do. Um, understanding, another thing to understand are there are doctrines of demons out there that you need to defeat by with the word of God. Um, and that there's an example of one doctrine of demons, and that is that there's no hell. And we're bearing fruit from damnation and hell from everlasting condemnation from the wrath of god um, which we see throughout the scriptures from the beginning this unquenchable fire and so that's one of an, one example of a doctrine of devils or demons that have come into the world another doctrine of demons is that you know uh, jesus is an angel or that um, what else do they say they say that you know, people say that they are God or that they are Christ or that everyone is saved already. Now, the blood of Christ was shed for everyone already. Um, but you have to believe in Jesus to get baptized in his spirit. It's very clear in, in the name of Jesus. Um, we are baptized into the name um, for the remission of our sins. His blood atones us for our sins. And then we get the gift of the Holy Ghost. Now, um, some people believe I feel the spirit going into them. Um, some people believe, and I don't feel the spirit going into them. Um, there, it depends on the heart. If they are prideful, um, Simon the sorcerer did not get the gift of the spirit of the Holy Ghost, um, be, probably because of his pride. And the apostle said, I perceive that you're in the gall of bitterness and bonds of iniquity. So if they're still thinking of, you know, thing. well, just read the parable of the sower of the seed and then you'll understand. And then there's those that, you know, you sow the seed of the word, they believe, and then the enemy comes and takes that word. So pray that God would send help to protect the word of God and that they would get more of the word of God, that the word would have free course in their life because the more that the word comes in their life, the more faith they're going to have. So that's why God says to study, you know, read the word, you, ha you will have, you know, something that you know is the truth you'll have a solid truth you won't be deceived and the other thing is you won't be ashamed and it says in the scriptures that there is now therefore no condemnation to those who are in christ who live after the spirit and not after the flesh for the works of the flesh is is death but the works of the spirit is life and peace so um and enter into that rest understanding that god did the work and that we're entering into someone else's work. Praise the Lord. Um, Jesus persevered through the cross for us. And now we don't know him anymore after the flesh. Okay, it says in the scriptures that 1 Corinthians 15, you know, he he um, persevered through the cross after he um, was tempted of the devil. All those times he was mocked and scoffed, and he didn't sin against God or mankind. So throughout his life, he had to walk a perfect and holy life without sin. Um, no one can say that by him. <laughs> you know, there are righteous people who loved God. Uh, we see that um, Enoch was righteous before God. Noah was known as righteous. You know, there's many people that walked uh, with God and uh, knew God. But only Jesus is the spotless, blem uh, blemishless lamb of God. And all of them go in through Christ. So they knew Christ, which is faith. Okay, so um, the just shall live by faith. So we live by our faith. Praise the Lord. God's grace and mercy is for his, those that believe in him. And he says it, it is impossible to please God without faith. Okay, faith is how we please God. Praise the Lord. And so even a mustard seed of faith in Jesus is enough to enter into the covenant with God. Praise the Lord. So understand that there's going to be um, people who are mocking and scoffing, people that hate you for doing what you're doing, um, familiar spirits that corrupt the word of God, they'll twist the word of God, and just study to know, you know the word so that he will be able to remind you of that word when you need it at that time. We don't battle against flesh and blood. This, the spirit, this is an all spiritual battle. Um, and don't give your eyes, your ears, or your time to anyone that's wicked, you know, um, uh, or a child of devil, an influencer of evil. Don't give your time, your energy. Don't give your words. Um, just demand them to go. Rebuke them. Um, ask Jesus to tor torment those devils that are speaking. And you, you don't have to say it out loud all the time. 
So don't speak with the devil and his evil, hateful ones, you know, uh, and their children. Just rebuke the devil in the name of Jesus. Speak. Uh, sometimes when they're like that, you know, you don't look at them. Um, I noticed that, you know, you just don't look at them. Um, so 